Have you heard of Nota before? If you haven't, you've been living under a rock. It's one of the best meeting transcriptions there is out there. It is not just about transcribing the audio to text. It's about taking full advantage of all the features that Nota is going to provide you. So let me show you what I'm talking about, right? I am now located in my Nota dashboard. And as I mentioned before, it's not just about transcribing the, the audio. It's about all the available tools afterwards. So that's where Nota really shines and you can do a whole lot with it, right? And I'm not just talking about talking with AI. It's about a lot of things that are going to save you a lot of minutes and a lot of hours, depending on how many meetings you actually do a month, right? So in this case, let me go ahead and kick off a recording to show you one of the first features that I want to show you, which is the automatic translate while you're actually in the meeting. So I'm going to kick off a recording because you're going to see how easy this is. And in this case, I'm going to use Google Meet, but you can use Zoom or other features that have meetings, right? So in this case, I'm going to kick off a new meeting. So I'm going to start an instant meeting and I am going to go ahead and kick it off here. I am going to grab the link. So I'm going to go ahead and paste it over here in Noda. I'm going to allow. Let's go ahead and paste it in. Let's go ahead and transcribe now. And Noda is now going to jump into that meeting as a bot. So here we go. I am going to admit it. I'm over here. I am the one kicking off the meeting and I'm going to allow Noda. Either I'm the one making the meeting or someone else is making the meeting and Noda's going to jump in as a user. In this case, this is just me and Noda, but it gives you an idea of how it actually works. And while in, I'm in this meeting, you're going to see here that I am actually receiving the transcription as is being said in the meeting. Now, one of the cool features is the real time translation. Let's just say that I well, I'm actually my primary language is Spanish but maybe I don't know a lot of English hypothetically saying there, and I don't understand maybe some complex words, business uh, words, et cetera, more complex. So in this case, I'm going to translate it in this case to Spanish. That means translation has now begun and it's going to translate the meaning as it's going on right here. So in a bit, we should be seeing a transcription here, a translation in Spanish for what I'm saying right now. So I'm going to pause a bit and here we go. Now we got the translation for this. It is now in Spanish and the, the meeting just continues and the transcription will be added in sections. So as the paragraph that I'm saying stops, it's going to jump into the next one and it's going to translate. This will help me read through what is being said and I'm going to be able to actually know what they are talking about, especially if I'm not fluent in the main language that we're speaking in. OK, so just to give you an idea now, everything that's being said is being recorded here and I'm able to stop the meeting or finish it off over here. In this case, I'm going to finish it off because I want to show you the next features that you can work with Noda. So right now, currently, here we go. The meeting has ended. It is now transcribing and I'm going to get a summarization of everything that's going on. So automatically I can select a predefined template here or view all the templates for the type of meeting that we are having. And that way, the summarization is based on what you actually need. So let's just say if it's about education, I'll select one of these and I'm just saying that there's going to be a lecture. So I'll use this template and the summary on the left is going to be based on that lecture that we had right now. So just kind of saying there right now, there's a summary that's being generated. There's also a mind map that's going to be generated, which is going to be available in a few uh, minutes. Here we go. Here's the summary and the mind map should kick in in a bit. Here we go. We also have a mind map. So if you are more into visual looking uh, diagrams, my map would be the best way to go. I can go ahead and make this big if I want to view it bigger or keep the summary to just see what this meeting was about, saving me a lot of time. Now, we're also going to get the main transcription here. We can edit the transcription too, and I can play the audio of the transcription that we just played. Get an idea of how it actually works. And why? Now, it's not just about actually hearing it too you can optimize the audio. So that means that if I click on this button right here where it says one X, I can speed up the, the, the audio and I can also do noise cancellation and skip silence. That's one of my favorite features, because if you have a one hour meeting and basically there's a lot of pauses there, you can be wasting 15 minutes to 20 minutes in a one hour meeting that was just silence. So using this feature, is fantastic because it's going to chop that off and I don't have to hear every single minute to waste my time. So I'm not going to hear silence and I can enable the noise cancellation. It's going to go through the process and it's going to let me know when that is ready. 
which is a good idea, especially when the other user or you have bad audio, you want to improve it with noise cancellation. So a lot of features are available there. And on the right, we have AI chat. AI chat is a fantastic tool because you get to chat with the actual transcript. So if that transcript or the meeting that you had was super important, super complex and had a lot of topics, you can actually talk about it here and let me know, like, give me a piece of that transcription or enlighten me more about what was talked in a certain part of the meeting. So a lot of features available there when you use the AI chat and it's super, super awesome. And along with that, you get also tools like key points to do a project. So if I want to set a key point around, I don't know, here, I can also do there and I can click on the key point. In this case, it added there because the playhead is there and I can add a note right here for that. So it, it bookmarks it, bookmarks it there so I can find it later on, which is pretty awesome. As I mentioned before, there's a lot of things that you can do right here. And aside from that, we can also do the share here. So if I want to share this, I can do public sharing to share it via a link super easily. I can download it and I get several options available. Audio text, a doc, SRT if I want to upload to, upload to YouTube. So if that was a YouTube video that is possible too. And just a bunch of things that we can do. Now, it's not just about the meetings. It's also about doing instant recording. So if you need to record it right now, you can do so too. You can upload an audio or you can record screen and get the transcription for it too. Or if you are on your phone, you can actually download Nota and use every single feature there, including recording meetings. So if you're at a live uh, expo or hearing a conference, etc., hit record and Nota is going to take care of it. And you're going to get the transcription and all the available tools available in Nota. So definitely recommend it. There's way more that you can do with Nota, but that's just like the quick overview of Nota and all these capabilities that are a bunch, but you saw one of the most important ones on this video. Plus they're adding more in the future. Now, if you want to check out Nota, link in the description, because it's definitely worth it if you are doing constantly meetings. So check it out. And that's a wrap.